Good morning everyone, it is Monday, September 15th. Um, I'm on my way to the gym for my second week um, session of my personal training. <laughs> yes, so I am again running a little bit behind and um, this morning I had my usual egg whites um, a grain toast and I'm still gonna work on my oatmeal which is probably bad because I'm about to work out in a little bit but um, have my vitamins my water not my green tea yet so I'm about I, I need to get all of that in um, afterwards um, with my protein shake so we're working upper body today and I am not too bad as far as soreness goes um, and I'm really trying not to check my weight until the end of the month or whenever um, Jericho tells me that I can because um, he doesn't want me to get discouraged by numbers um, but I do feel a difference already um, in my clothes um, like my stomach um, and my face and everything it's just I feel even a lot better as far as um, more, I have more energy throughout the day. So um, anyway, I will go ahead and update you after I work out. I'm sure he's gonna take it up another notch because this weekend I told him that I wasn't too bad as far as after leg day. I was sore, but not as bad as I thought I was. Going to be. I thought I wasn't going to be able to even use the restroom. That's how bad I thought it was going to be. But it was, I was able to do a lot of stuff. So um, yesterday though, I think really helped because I had a huge MTP fitness yesterday. I did some hot hula. I had my hot hula class. Um, and then I attended a Zumba class. So I worked out like maybe three times yesterday. <laughs> Whereas he just wanted me to power walk. But, you know, I had to do that. And Saturday was kind of more of my rest day um, for my body to relax. So. Hey guys, oh my god, this Wednesday workout, it's only my second week, midweek, my arms, they feel like jello, okay, I'm still trying to catch my breath because I was doing some crazy um, workout with um, burpees and a weight ball, um, my, like I said, my arms feel like jello, he probably worked my back, my chest, my tries buys like all of that is just crazy hurting right now i can barely even lift up this my phone to videotape so yeah um i'm really hoping to get to that point where it's not so hard because right now it just is and i have to remind myself that it's just the beginning you know i'm i'm gonna have to challenge myself to make some changes and there's no easy way about it there's no shortcut there's no like they say magic pill to just get that body that you always wanted because I'm already at that point I'm at that point where I lost 
all the weight, well, most, a majority of the weight that I wanted. And now I really just want to tone this body up. Tone it up, lean it out, you know? So, anyway, I have to go home, get some, get my protein shaken, rebuild those muscles, um, and get in a quick nap before my meeting. I have a long day ahead of me. Good morning, Fit Mamas. Okay, so today is Friday. Oh my goodness. Twentieth of September. Uh, it's leg day. A little bit about how I feel this morning. My throat is hurting, and it's not. I don't think I'm sick. I think it's the grapefruit because that's the only fruit that I've really been just kind of eating with all my meals and everything. I When I had it this morning, my throat felt a little irritated, but um, yeah, this never happened to me before. So it's kind of odd, but I think the acidity is getting to me now. Um, anyway, I'm on the way to the Oh yeah, another thing. So I was getting dressed, right? And I put on a pink tank top, assuming it was mine. <laughs> I was wearing it for a while this morning, getting stuff ready for uh, my daughter's school. And I was like, wait, when I put on my arms, it, I mean, it fits fine here, but when I put on my arms, it's like super short. And I was like, uh, Mia, is this your shirt? And she's like, yes, mom. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God. I guess that's a good thing, right? Knowing that I'm able to fit into my eight-year-old daughter's clothes. Yeah, but anyway, that was just kind of funny. I was just um, wanted to share that with you guys. Also, um, with my throat being kind of irritated, it was hard for me to like swallow my pills, and I already have a hard time already with them. And so, yeah. Um, once I get done with all my vitamins, I want to like switch up to just the liquid kind. Like seriously. Ugh. I don't know. I still don't know how people do that like every day. Um, <laughs> I've been trying to be consistent with it. I, although I have to say I did miss yesterday with um, my vitamins. Oh, and another thing, and I hope this does not hinder my workout today, but um, I could not sleep last night. For the life of me, I could not sleep. I was trying to, trying to, and I would wake up. I seriously probably only had two to three hours of sleep. And so when I woke up, I was like, I had to make sure that I had my breakfast, my, um, I was going to have my shake, but I think I had a good amount of breakfast, and like I said, my throat was hurting, so I wasn't really having a great, like, I didn't feel like I had that much of an appetite. So I had my usual, um, whole grain toast, um, this time I, I kind of switched it up a little bit. Um, half of the, I, I cut it in half, just the one single toast. I put um, peanut butter on one side and then on the other side I just had the egg whites. But I tried putting my garlic with it. <laughs> Isn't that great? I, know, I normally put my garlic, um, like little chopped up minced garlic with a, a bunch of my um, other foods like my dinner and stuff or even my lunch like just depending on what it is but I try to do something different add it to my, my egg white scrambled eggs and um, yeah that was good I'm on my way I am oy, running behind again so um I will update you and let you know how everything goes um I can't be late no more. Oh my goodness, Jericho's gonna like kick my butt for real. Ay, ay, ay. Um, anyways, I need to get my workout in later tonight or later this evening. I have a wedding to go to.
Okay, let me introduce myself. I'm Jericho. Uh, I've been a personal trainer for over 25 years, training different clients from different goals of uh, preparing for an event, competition, specific sports, whatever. Under the under the sun, I've trained them all. And luckily for me, for 25 years, I've been successful, uh, and that's through the hard work of the clients, not just my guidance and training. Uh, my background is actually martial arts. I've been training my entire life since I was eight years old. So uh, up till now, I'm still training martial arts. I've also created Flyer Kickbox, Woo! which is a fitness system that uh, incorporates biometrics, isometrics, calisthenics, and kickboxing. But my love is also completely just health. Uh, my background in sports is wrestling, martial arts, of course, track, and a little bit of football. Wrestling is where I actually got my scholarship, so that's when I first learned how to actually lift weights properly for health conditions and sports specifics. Uh, Nutrition-wise, I've researched and I've been certified as, as a nutritionist, so I'm pretty knowledgeable in that area also. Uh, to this day, like every day, I consistently do my research and update myself with everything that's new out there. My biggest biggest emphasis is there's no substitute for hard work. I don't believe in anything unnatural. Uh, right. At this point, I've been lucky to have been hired by Crystalline as a personal trainer. This is actually the end of her second week with me. I train with her three, three days out of every week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. When we first started, she has absolutely, really don't know how far she's gotten. Um, I'm very critical so I don't give her all the compliments all the time. But I look so far ahead, but she's, you know, as most people, they want to see the changes right away, right. and she's already seen that. I look very far ahead, and I'm probably much beyond what she thinks she's going to accomplish. Um, and that's my goal. Whatever their goal is, my goal is usually this much higher. <laughs> as far as she's concerned, the, the working out, etc. She's come a long ways, even just the two weeks. She's already dropped weight, excess water. Her face is already looking thinner, her waistline. But of course, I can't give her all that because my goal is so much further away. And I think she knows that. Things that you don't me want me to do, like check my weight, can you kind of go yes. further into that? Why I shouldn't? Yes, there's a lot of things. Or why people shouldn't? First of all, when you're doing resistance training, I don't like people looking at the weight of the scale because you will be building muscle, muscle weighs more than fat. So you can actually start trimming the fat and start building muscle or get on the scale and actually weigh the same, maybe even more on some, on some occasions. So your mirror is your best judgment. You take a look in the mirror, your clothing that you normally wear uh, is your best judgment, but the mirror definitely and how you feel and where you are as far as body is concerned. The scale can absolutely lie to you, which is the reason why I, I, I don't depend on the scale. Especially at the time of day, your morning is where um. your light is. Your morning is where your light is. And if people weigh themselves in the morning, yeah, they, they go, do. Wow, well, yeah, okay. And they weigh themselves again at another time, but it's at night, and they weigh this, I gained six pounds. Right. So that also makes a difference. That's why I say don't look at the scale. Right. Don't look at the scale. Okay. And one last question for the moms who are watching with kids. What kind of advice, good advice that you can give to them as far as maybe um, eating wise and working out for busy moms? Eating wise, I never call it a diet. I don't like to call it a diet. I call it nutritional intake. And it's healthy nutritional intake. <laughs> That's the hardest part everybody has and they fail at that portion. So the first thing I tell those mothers that want to lose weight, Whatever you're eating now, cut it in half. Right. And then exercise a little bit more. Um, in order to change your body composition, you have to add resistance.
Hey there. Okay. I look fine right now, right? <laughs> it's because I had some time to actually recover. So I just to kind of go over what happened today for leg day. Um, basically, <laughs> it was torturous. Oh my God. Like me and Jericho have um, this funny thing where he's like, okay, come on. This is your favorite, favorite exercise, your favorite uh, machine. And I'm always like, yeah, I have so many to choose from I don't I don't even know which one to choose from I have so many favorites and like seriously no <laughs> he per he he worked out part of my legs that I have not worked out before and this is like our second week right so our second time doing leg day and it feels completely different it's not the same I'm just like I know I should be like, okay, that's great, but then I'm like, I don't know what to look forward to, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know how to prep myself to be like, okay, this is what we're going to do next, and um, this is how it's going to feel, and I'm going to push through it. It's like, surprise, here you go, we're working the glutes, we're working the hands, oh, this machine's taken, let's go ahead and use um, just like my hand as like um like a weight type of thing and so he bases it on how my strength is on my weight so for example um i'll hold on to a machine um and just for like a for leverage basically and then he'll like push on my heel and i have to push my heel up so i'm working that um the hamstring and my glute but he'll push on it so hard that i'm like I might as well have a weight on there <laughs> because it's not always the same. It's like it gets harder each time on the second part, like the second rep. I'm like, oh my goodness. But I have to say overall, the workouts have been, it, I don't even have a word for it. It's just while I'm in it. I feel like I'm being tortured. <laughs> Truthful. I feel like I'm just basically like, and I hate, okay, I hate it saying this, but I feel like, okay, it's torturous, but like later on, it's like really rewarding. It really is because, like I said before in one of my other clips, um, I never thought that I could be so capable of doing some of the things that I'm doing that my body can actually like push through some of these obstacles and it just it little by little it builds my confidence even a little bit more you know and um the people at the gym they see me and they see what I go through and some of them you know they say hey you know good job you're almost there like they give me encouragement and then some of them like joke around and they're like oh wow you're just walking around the gym you're getting your sweat on it's because every time we work the legs every set it just feels um I don't know I don't know how to describe it but I have to walk it off I have to get my oxygen in I have to drink my water and so I'll make these rounds around the gym and I'll see the same people like say on the bike or on the on the treadmill and they're like, hey, look at her. She's just walking, but she's just drenched in sweat because and my face is probably not cute because I'm like, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just like, oh, my God, are we <laughs> done yet? Like, seriously. But, you know, like when we do certain workouts, it's. I like it that he's not so um, complimentive because, and I'm going right here because there's someone right next to me and I, I feel weird like video, videoing myself. But um, yeah, I, I forgot what I was about to say. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't, I don't mind him being complimentive just because um, 
I know myself I'm doing good like it's okay that he's not saying I'm doing good and plus I like that he's harsh on me you know what I mean that he doesn't give me so much to be like I don't know it's kind of weird um because I know that I'm all about encouragement support giving motivation but I'm like to that point with this weight resistance training and just the whole workout that he's putting me through that I'm just like, I got this, you know? No one needs to tell me that I got this because I know, I really know that I, that I do. You know, I'm, I'm pulling from within and it's showing, you know what I mean? So, um, but when he does give me those compliments, I'm like, hell yes, you know? And, um, and I'm getting emotional because this is what I've always wanted. Someone to actually, um, you know, put their time and effort into me to help me succeed, you know. And he doesn't ask, he doesn't ask for too much. And he asks, well, he expects a lot from me because he knows that I can't. So, um, like I said before, I can't wait for the outcome, but I know that I will reach my goal. And you ladies can too, you know? It just, how bad do you want it? So, with that said, <sighs> I need to go because I need to go grab a couple things for my girls and my husband. So, um, check in with me next time, okay? Alright, have a good weekend. Bye. There you go. Turn it all the way, turn it all the way. Squeeze those abs. Good. I got your time. Ten more seconds. Burn it up, burn it up. Five. Time.